I think I'm bringing out every tool that I own, just in case. Hi, I'm Doug, and this is my first mate, Peggy. Together, we're sailing the coast of Maine in our 30-foot hunter called Lavender Love. I think I have the harbor to myself. Today, I'm gonna to try to put the winter stick on to replace the mooring ball. Ooh, I just did a workout. So let's see how this goes. So I need the motor way out there. I'm trying to replace the mooring ball with the winter stick. It's tapered so the ice doesn't push it up and break it. So here's the anatomy of our mooring. Sitting on the bottom is a granite rock. Attached to that is a heavy chain called the bottom chain, which sits in the mud, preventing it from rusting. Then there's shackles, the lighter top chain attached to the mooring ball. Coming off the mooring ball is the line that you use to attach to the boat. On that is a pickup stick and line that you can grab when you come up to the mooring. The idea for winter is to put a line onto the top chain drop that down into the mud, then attach a winter stick. I pretty much figured that the hardest part would be to unhook the shackle from the mooring ball. So what I need to do is take the shackle off and then run the rope through here, or the line for the winter stick through there. And I have it tied off, kind of hold the chain in place so it doesn't fall away, break away. As soon as I get this loosened, I'll probably put the rope through here, or through here, and what else? All of this I'll take home. This is all brand new shackles and swivels. So you have the line attached with a thimble to a shackle. Then you have a swivel here and another shackle holding the mooring ball. Get out where the low tide line was which is about six feet. And then I know the tide at the most will go up to 12 feet. So I put a line there at be right about 18 feet. So that's where I want to loop through and tie my double bowl into. I did a whip on the end of the line to keep it from unraveling. double bowl in here and then the slack I brought up and I did a fisherman's knot here so that'll be a little extra insurance so I think I'm ready to let the chain go take the shackle off right here and let her go So now I'll bring the mooring ball and the rope and all the accessories back home to wash and store for winter. Thanks for watching everyone and I hope to see you in the next video.